You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and today I have with me Tina Curtin. Hi, Tina. How are you? Hi, Mark. Welcome back. Thank you. We are promoting the golf tournament, the second annual charity golf tournament, benzing, benefiting, easy for me to say, the Lindsay A. Curtin Scholarship Fund. Correct. Lindsay was your lovely daughter. That's correct. Okay. Yes. Who passed? In 2006. 2006. Yes, yeah, she was a senior at Cardinal Spelman High School. Mm -hmm. She passed away 10 weeks shy of graduation. Right, and I remember us covering the graduation and yes. them giving you the, the degree on her behalf. Yes, they did. You just had a 10-year celebration, a yes, successful fundraiser yes, that just sure happened did. over at the Shaw Center, and we were there for it. That's but right. this is a little different. This is a chance to kind of get out. It's springtime. Enjoy. Well, it's going to be summer by the time we yeah. do it. Okay. It's on her birthday, actually. It's on her birthday. Okay, see, I didn't know that. Yes, it's on her actual birthday. Okay. The gala that we have in the winter is for her anniversary. Okay. And the golf tournament is always around her um, birthday, but this year it's actually on her birthday. Oh, that's very nice. So you've taken something that was sad. Yes. And turned it into something that's good to help other people. Yes, absolutely. Okay. What are you expecting? What are you looking for? for the? Let me give the specifics first. It's at... The Crestwood Country Club, 90 Wheeler Street in Rehoboth, and it's on Monday, July 25th. Uh, registration's 11.15, then there's a lunch, then there's a shotgun start at 1.15, and then there's a dinner, but there's all sorts of stuff that goes along with it, so yes. tell us. Okay, there's raffles, there's, um, we have raffles, we have prizes um, closest to the pin. Mm -hmm. um, we have contests, um, putting contests. It's really um, a wonderful event. It's open to the public. Mm -hmm. um, if somebody is interested in joining us, they just have to contact me. Um, my cell phone is 508-958-1035. Um, mm -hmm. And if they're interested in golfing, they just have to give me a call. And I have a form that they just need to fill out mm -hmm. the size of their shirt. They get a goodie bag. They get a golf shirt. Mm -hmm. They get a golf towel mm -hmm. that's embroidered. It's for Lindsay. Okay. And they get a golf cart, and it includes their lunch, their dinner, the driving range, mm -hmm. and um, we have prizes and raffles and contests. And, and you're so looking we'll, for sponsors and co-sponsors. Sponsors. People can sponsor a hole. They can well, sponsor. Can, that's, they just can need they to contact me mm -hmm. and to sponsor a hole, and or if they'd like to co-sponsor it. Um, they just need to contact me again at 508-958-1035 and they can work out the details with me. So this is the second one. How did the first one go? The first one was wonderful. Yeah? It was. It actually um, poured the whole morning and I, I just remember uh, praying to Lindsay and saying this is our first um, annual classic, Lindsay. You have to make this sun come out because all these people are waiting to golf and we're looking out around the golf course and it's pouring you can't see anything mm -hmm. all the flags say it's for Lindsay mm -hmm. the golf course is absolutely beautiful it is beautiful and it was pouring we couldn't see anything from where we were sitting mm -hmm. and I remember going into the bathroom and saying Lindsay these golfers really want to golf you, you have to make the Sun come out and next thing you know it at 1 15 the Sun came out and it was beautiful, mm -hmm. it was hot, and it was everything we expected it to be. It was beautiful. So what type of help are you getting? So is this, uh, this is a family thing, you and your husband? My husband and, and I. And probably yeah. extended family? Uh, extended family come. Uh, we have volunteers that, mm -hmm. that help us, and um, we set it up. We go there early in the morning, we set everything up, and then the golfers come in at 11.15, and then they get assigned a golf, is four to a team. Mm -hmm. And then, but if somebody wants to sign up um, just by themselves, there'll be people there that are looking for teams as well. Okay. And um, then they get in their golf cart. They have lunch. Last year we had Wally from the Red Sox join us. Okay. And entertain them during lunch. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it was really good. And we took, they took pictures with everybody and it was really exciting. And then um, we also have a photographer that's on the premises who takes pictures of all the teams, the foursomes, mm -hmm. and then um, we go out, we develop the pictures, and then when they come back, they get a, 
an actual picture in a frame, mm. and it says, you know, Lindsay's, you know, golf classic, and they get to take that home as well. Now, are you and your husband golfers? No, my husband golfs, right? But he is not an avid golfer. Okay. He does participate only because it's for Lindsay, um, but he did very well considering he never golfed before. But mm -hmm. He did very well. He okay. didn't place up high, but he placed, and to me that was that was worth it. It was worth it to him. Um, I'm going to say this much: the people that he golfed with carried him through. There you go. Okay, <laughs> that's a safe thing to do since this exactly. is going to go on TV. Exactly. Okay, so. Um, What's the best part of it for you? The best part of it for me is just people coming together um, and continuing Lindsay's legacy. We give out scholarships mm -hmm. and um, we've given out 52 scholarships in Lindsay's memory. And so this being our second um, event, we've already just had our gala. We combine um, the monies raised for each event and then we give them out to worthy applicants that um, apply for the scholarship. And so far, 52 have been given out in her memory. That's amazing. It is amazing. It is amazing. It's does, does it help you? I know you can't take away the pain of losing your daughter, but does it, does it help you keep her memory alive and, and uh, keep you going? Yes, it, my husband and I, this is what keeps us going. Um, you know, Lindsay was our only child. So um, her passing away was, it, it was unexpected. So, um, you know, we struggle with that every day. And her being our only child, you know, now, you know, we look to see all her other friends are getting married and having children and, you know, doing all these things. And the only thing we have is to do is just to keep her memory fresh. And you had a lot of those friends, a lot of those people. The event was a wonderful event. Yes. We covered it and we were there. Yes. and. Just the spirit in the room. That's right. Okay. For picture, the, the design, you have a special design. Yes, our logo. Your logo. Yes. And uh, 52 is a lot. That helps a lot of people. And she was someone that helped people too. She was very active, yes, both as an athlete and yes. I think she was, was a, a student She was a cheerleader. She yeah. was a student council president. She mm -hmm. was a peer minister, which she, she just adored it. She went to Catholic school from kindergarten to 12th grade. Mm -hmm. So she was very, very um, strong in her faith. And um, she was not afraid to die. She was um, more afraid of what was going to happen to my husband and I without her. Mm -hmm. And, um, but she was strong in her faith. So in my heart, I have to believe that, you know, um, spiritually, you know, that, you know, she's okay at this point. But my husband and I are the ones left to carry her memory. And that's what we do every day when we wake up. And some days it's not easy. And we have many days that we struggle. Um, just it's the simple thing like Easter coming. Right. And right. the holidays when everybody gathers and right. everybody's together. And, you know, she was our life. She was everything we lived for. She was an Irish step dancer. She worked. She held on a job. I mean, she. What did she want to do when she, she wanted, graduated? She wanted to be a trauma surgeon. Yes, she wanted Help others to. Too. That's right. She wanted to heal mm -hmm. people, and um, she really—that was her goal—was um, to be a trauma surgeon. And she was accepted to college, and she was all set and ready to go. And um, she was she passed away from complications from cystic fibrosis. Um, that's cystic fibrosis didn't take her life. Right. It was the complications. the complications. Well, we're going to help you. We're going to be there every step of the way, help you promote this and keep Thank doing you. the wonderful things that you're doing to help people. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.